Hello, you all right? Uh, well, I just want to give you a quick update of what I would like to do um, later this year. I've been thinking about this for quite some time now and um, I'm going to buy myself a rib, an outboard, an inflatable boat basically. It's not one of these cheap ones that you go down the beach with, it's the proper tender for these big yachts that we see out on the coast and what have you. Um, it's going to cost me quite a bit of money, I've got a bit saved up and we're going to go and get ourselves a four stroke, five horse outboard motor folks. Now I've already um, put a, do a, do a donation, no not a donation, I've already put a deposit on the outboard and it's from one of my friends down uh, on the Lizard and uh, it's a Suzuki and Suzuki's as we all know are renowned for being very good. Um, the reason why I'm going down the road of buying an inflatable is because it makes it transportable. Now there's a lot of folks that I know that do um, have boats, have yachts and what have you and they've got to pay mooring fees because um, there's nowhere else to put it basically. Yes there is places where you can put it where it's free and what have you but there's there's good things and there's bad things about these particular places. I'm not doing that. Uh, I'm just going to buy a brand new out, um, rib. The engine is second hand. It's been fully serviced. So that means it comes in a bag, folks. So it's very transportable. So that means I can go like down, for instance, at Deveran, inflate the boat, start the engine up, and away I go. And if I want to go out in the north coast, like Portreef, or I, I live close to Portreef, so it's just a short distance for me. And I can go down there, inflate the boat, get it in the harbour, get the engine running and go out for a, a blast down there. Also, if I want to go likes of uh, Plymouth, Salt Ash, I can go up the river and go to Morwaham Quay and what have you. So it makes it transportable. This is what I like. And uh, this is what we're going to do this year, for sure. So that means now, well not right now, but once we've got the boat, we, are, we can explore land, sea and air because obviously you know we've got the drone and we're upgrading that just under for a month now, about three weeks. We're getting the DJI Mini 2. <laughs> I can't wait to get that. Um, what I would like to do with the drone side of things, I don't know if you guys know St Agnes very well at all, but St Agnes Beacon, uh, there's a mine there. And if you go up the coast a bit, um, on on the public part, you, there, there's an island just out there. I forget the name. I don't know if it's Raw. Um, I forget. I can't remember the name. But those of you who live around there will know exactly what the name is. I, I can find the name out, no problem. But I just can't think off the top of my head. But what I would like to do is fly the new drone from from there to that island, buzz it a couple of times, and then come back. I think it's just under a mile each way but I, I i'm not 100 percent sure on that but the new drone will definitely do it the new the old drone will probably do it but coming back i'll probably be like really stretching the old string a bit too taut um the the new the old drone is is mighty just because if you've seen some of the videos that we've done here's the old drone here folks all the drone videos you've seen this this is it this is the famous drone and uh, yeah, it's small, but it's mighty. It is really mighty. I've got my uh, operator ID on the top because we're all registered now with the CAA. Well, we have been for quite a while now, to be honest. Um, but the new the new drone is basically the same as this, but rather than having a 2.4K camera, the new one has a 4K camera, and the batteries are different. The motors have been uprated, so you know it's a lot. There's a lot, and there's extra lights on it and stuff like that. I know that's not everything, but the thing is, it will do a lot more than what that one does. So yeah, so it's all good. So yeah, we're looking forward to getting that. Maybe I don't. I'm not. I'm just toying with the idea about getting the DJI Mavic Pro too. Uh, but that's going to be that will be next year. That will be next year's big purchase because I can't really afford to do oh, buying boats and and obviously the the mini two and whatever. I just can't. I just can't do it. I ain't got the money to do all that. I've been saving now for quite a while, so 
we have got a bit of money saved up so it's it's all good of course um we don't make any money on youtube folks so um i have had some donations and i would like to thank you andy and uh, there's another guy that's donated as well so thank you thank you so if you would like to donate a very small amount doesn't have to be much even if it's a quid folks there's a paypal link in the description and it'll take you straight to our page which is the kerno exp page and whatever money we make it goes back into the channel it's like the guy andy that money that he gave me that that's gone straight back in to the channel folks whether it's to do with petrol for the motorcycle or for gizmos like we're getting. We are going to go back to proper urban exploring, folks. I haven't done much of that of late because the weather has been against us and all this current situation has put a stop in quite a lot of it. Um, but don't worry, we, we, we've got some uh, good things in the bag yet to come this year. We've got some fantastic ones. I've been buying lots of um, exploring gear, such as harnesses, um, hats, lights, rope, and uh, ascenders, descenders, because we've got some good content coming once we're out of this lockdown. I can't do these explores that we're going down a Cornish mine. And uh, obviously, if you know me, I know quite a bit about mining because once... Uh, I am a tour guide for the National Trust at a particular mine here in Cornwall and I do know my stuff about mining. So we know what we're doing. We're doing everything safe and above board and obviously locations will not be given because we don't want people going down these places with without the proper equipment and the knowledge. I know some of you have, such as the um, this crew here, the Carbis Bay crew. They they know what they're doing, and as a lot of others know what they're doing, but I'm not tarring everyone with the brush, folks. The thing is, you, you've got to be safe, because I, I'm not being rude, but there's a lot of folk that come down in the summer months, and they go, oh, mine shaft, let's go down and have a look. No gear, no nothing, and they get in trouble. I'm sorry, but <laughs> if you're going to do exploring, you must have knowledge and the correct gear. Sorry if it sounds like a, a yarn and a bit... But um, it's got to be safe because there's been people that have no knowledge and they've, they haven't come back. So um, you've got to be safe. Uh, so that's why I'm investing in all this gear. So me and three other friends of mine will be exploring underground. Uh, so yeah, anyway, besides that. So the boat, yeah, I'm not mooring it anywhere. It's going to be basically kept here at the base and taken to locations wherever that may be you know once we're out of this situation we can travel then and we can go off exploring also we're going to be doing a lot more drone flights this year i know i've been producing a lot of them i know you guys are enjoying that so uh yeah we'll be doing a lot more i've had a request from uh a subscriber down at hale so um that'll be coming over the next uh, couple of weeks hopefully maybe maybe a bit longer maybe a bit less but um, if you have any requests drone flights um, please get in touch and of course like I said earlier we don't make any money on YouTube folks we we, we like to get donations and it's not an ask it's just a donation if you don't want to do it you don't have to but the thing is it does help us directly and it makes us be able to do more so uh so think about that folks anyway uh, i'm gonna head off now um we'll we'll see you soon uh, we'll be doing some live streams next week hopefully once the webcam arrives uh, i'm not really sure what the quality is it says it's hd so it could be all right it could be a pile of whatever but you know we'll find out won't we anyway see you soon folks look after yourselves and until next time cheers and gone